Hi uh, YouTube, just making a quick video here to show you my newest toy. Finally got another fox body. Used to have one of these years ago and actually had a couple. I smashed up the one that I put a lot of time and money into and then just bought a couple other ones and they had so many issues that I just kind of sold them but uh, finally found one in decent shape and brought her home yesterday so I figured I'd make a quick video about it and tell you what it needs and go from there. Um, mostly just small stuff that it needs um, well there's a little bullseye in the windshield there that was actually already supposedly sealed I don't know, I'll probably get a new windshield anyway um, the interior is actually in really good shape it's the, it's not the regular gray, it's definitely not the red, I hate the red but uh, it's a little bit darker than the normal gray I don't know what they call it but I kinda like it um, the dash, the tachometer, there's something wrong with that. When you start the car, it goes up to around 3, 3.5 and, and just kind of stays there until the RPMs go above it. So it is getting signal to it, but I've read that uh, tearing the dash apart and reflowing the solder joints can sometimes fix it, so I'll probably try that. Um, so there's that. It's got the nice wheels on it. Somebody painted the drums in calibers red. Which Looks like they did a decent job, so I'll probably just let that alone. Under the hood, I didn't notice it at the time when I bought it, but the heater core is actually unhooked, so I'm guessing it needs a heater core. I'm not looking forward to that, but it's not going to be a daily driver, so it can sit and be torn apart for a little while if need be. Now, as you can see, it's pretty much factory. There's not even a cold air intake on this thing. Um, it's got some aftermarket wires, cap and rotor, uh, coil. I did see some underdrive pulleys, which is a plus. Um, trying to think. The headlights aren't horrible, but they're kind of yellowed, so I'll probably be getting new ones. I don't know, the actual headlights aren't that bad at all. It's just the marker lights, I guess. Anyway, um, car was repainted. Obviously, you know, it's doesn't have that stuff from the factory. It's not the perfect paint job, but it's not terrible. They got a little bit of paint here and there on the weather stripping and so forth. Um, it's got Flowmaster exhaust. It's not done 100% correctly, but it's on there and it doesn't leak, so I guess that's good enough for now. Can't really think of anything else right offhand that it needs. I haven't torn the front end apart and check stuff out. Oh, the shifter was in the back. Uh, let's see if I can get this hatch open here. Not too crazy about what the dude's got back here, but... I'm not sure if these struts work. I think they did. Nope, they don't. But yeah, he's got <coughs> a Hufford Fosgate amp and a, is that a kicker sub. And it's all hooked up and it works. It's not mounted at all. It's just kind of back here flying around. But I don't know if I'll leave that in there or not. I'm not really a big fan of that kind of stuff. But it's not a huge one, so I may. I don't know. It does take up a lot of room, though. But I don't know. We'll decide that later. Um... I think that's about it. Um, if there's anything else, I'll just make another video. Wish I could get a better overall of it, but in the garage there's not really much room to do so. And the hood's up, but... Anyway, you've seen Fox Bodies or you wouldn't be watching this video. So, that's what I got. I like it.